Hi, I'm Ferdinand the Garbage Sacker. What happens if you take one part Slapjack and one part Zombies? You get Zombie Slam. This is a new game that uses an app from Mercury Games. Let's go through a quick overview and hear my thoughts about Zombie Slam. And before we move on, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on that bell notification button to stay up to date with our videos. Zombies Land is about the first to snatch the item you need and hopefully not turn into a zombie. You need to build a backpack with four different items and you also need to help stragglers that you find along the way. The game is app assistant and it's required to play for the full experience. A non-app assistant mode is available in the rulebook. The main function of the app is to call out certain items to the player for them to take. It will also know the number of players in the game take care of the game's difficulty, and help the players go through the round of play. There are four days, each with 10 rounds of players trying to get a certain item. The app may call out something of a color, a number of items on a card, or an item type. Players will now try to slam their hand on the card of which is being called. If the player is right, then they take the card. If the player is wrong, they instead draw a hazard and may need to pay extra items or else be turned into a zombie. If a player takes a card in a room with a straggler in it, they take a straggler token along with them, but only if they're right. While each straggler collected is one point, the player must give an item card for them to use at the end of each day or be turned into a zombie. At the end of the day, after 10 rounds of trying to get items, the players need to see if they survive. First, they must give an item to each straggler in their following, then turn in a complete backpack of 4 cards. If they have a second backpack, they get an extra 5 points. If they cannot give an item or complete a backpack, they turn into a zombie. They lose all backpack points, but any stragglers become zombie straggler points. As a zombie, they also try to complete a backpack and shout brains to give a surviving human hazards. However, a human can shout zombie slam before they say brains to force the zombie to give them an item card. If all players are zombies, play continues and the zombie with the most points wins. If there is at least two humans, the human with the most points wins. If there's only one human, they win against the whole zombie horde. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about the presentation of the game. There's two parts. There's going to be the physical part and the app part. Um, first, talking about the physical part. The cards are, um, they're nice. I like the art of the game itself. The cards are just a little flimsy. I just wish to be a bit more, um, bit, or thicker cardboard. But uh, um, I do recommend, because this is a dexterity game and there's going to be a lot of people slamming on the table with these cards, you will have to sleeve them. The game does come with a ton of these tokens. They're, they're good quality. Um, there's nothing to it for these. Uh, then uh, the rule book is uh, written fairly well. I uh, didn't have any problems reading to it, through it. Um, now I'm going into the app. The app works very well. I do recommend. Um, I do have a very small phone uh, that to use either an iPad or a bigger phone than this. This is a iPhone SE. So um, with me with a you know, stubby little uh, fat fingers, I guess it's it, it's um, hard to kind of like push the the actions on the app itself but uh, for the app um, it's very well made it's very polished the, the thing that does get me is the voice actors in the game um, it's well, the best way to describe it is like it's B movie as it's not totally the, the best which you can find there but I, I guess it works it's very the the app does bring it out that it's, um, it's loud and clear and everyone can hear it uh, the, the app also takes you across the all the the days and the steps and uh, quite um, even the set of the game the game does not however have a tutorial teaching the game which uh, it's a kind of a bit miss opportunity in that sense Really, the game is about recognizing the colors or the numbers of items and then trying to slap them. The zombie theme is just almost kind of attached to it, except that you are trying to hopefully survive, get the right items uh, before anyone else is. If you don't have the right items or enough items, you'll be turned to the zombie. And 
if you are turned into a zombie, it's not that bad. Uh, you do get to play the zombie mode where you're just trying to grab the, you're, you're playing the same way, but you're grabbing the items for yourself and then trying to wreak havoc on the humans. No, I do recommend playing the app. The app works fine. Well, actually, it works re um, really well with it. Um, the game, the box in the outside says it's optional to use the app, but uh, ignore that. I think the app is fine and works much better and brings the game a bit more to life as you play it. And the other thing I do like is the stragglers in the game. It keeps the game a bit more interesting. Um, Yes, you get points for getting stragglers in there. Um, sometimes you're not always going to be in a, on the lookout for stragglers, and sometimes it just happens to have and to be the card you are just looking for. But gathering them means you have to pay more items and be, pay more attention, get as much items as possible. So that's a little interesting in the game. Just like with any speed game, uh, you there is going to be someone's going to be just quicker and faster than the others i'm probably one of the slower people in the group of trying to listen trying to recognize things so it's usually the one who is going to be the fastest will and recognize the items the quickest will be uh, certainly the winner of the game there are four different items in the game and uh, trying to find the right ones and trying to get a backpack full of these four different items um is pretty easy only if the deck is shuffle weld. And if it's not shuffle weld, you get these influx of just a bunch of flashlights and a bunch of these unwanted items. We, we had like games where we needed medical packs and there'll be three people who turn to zombies. So that's not a great thing. So uh, it does the game does suffer, uh, suffer that if you don't shuffle well, the game will not also play well. Also that if you are going to be a zombie in there, I... <sighs> As far as the zombie, as far as zombies go, and pe players turn to zombie, I really hate that. And so in the game, if you're a zombie, then you're able to call out stuff. When this is one of the things that I also did not like in the game is trying to call out of uh, when you're building your backpack. If you see a zombie completing his, or you see somebody uh, a zombie is trying to complete it, you have to be the first one to call out. It's in the rules. It's not very explained. It's like if they got an item or if they completed a backpack when putting in the card on there it's not co completely uh, explained that way but if so, i just don't like the speed calling out so it, it just can can be a little confusing and you just have to always keep track of like oh look the zombie's about to finish the backpack everyone watch out and that sort of thing so i just didn't like that aspect in the game um and so from other remarks about the game um the game is each day and there's four days is 10 rounds like that's like basically 40 turns in the game and it can just get a little dragged out a little bit but understand is that's that's fairly enough time to just grab as much stuff and complete a backpack in there uh it's almost kind of needed but it's just also pushing the game just a little bit too long and it gets a little bit more repetitive as you're just hearing people call out the items. This game also relies on you listening and looking for cards of color and the the question that comes up is this is okay for colorblind people and for the most part yes but you will um, the people who are colorblind needs to look at the little letter on each corner. Um, they just have to I don't know how it works. We don't have anyone colorblind play with this, but it doesn't seem like it's very... Um, it, it, for me, it feels like the colorblind people will have a little bit more disadvantage uh, trying to recognize these items. But I wouldn't worry that too much because color is probably one, like about a third of the things you just have to keep in mind. Everything else about color and what type of item it is, is the rest of the calling out. So about a third is the color, the rest are just um, either the number of items or the type of item that the player, the characters are wanting in the game. Now I think turning into zombies is not a very bad thing. I mean, it keep, at least it keeps the game keeping on going. Um, what you do want to do as a zombie is hopefully turn everyone else a zombie because if one is a human, um, then that human would just win. So once it's just all zombies, the game just changed. Like zombies just want as many zombie followers as possible, and it's it's not too bad. But um, I do like as a game that there are. You know, at least some humans and at least some zombies in there trying to, you know, get the humans and stuff. But once, uh, I did not like games when 
uh, players were uh, all the players were too early on zombies. It didn't feel like there's no uh, build up for that in the game. And I do want to talk about how that the app is working with the physical game itself. I need, I think Mercury Games has done itself well of trying to meld these things together. So it's, and I mean, Jump Slam is not something that it was too much about the app itself and not too much of uh, the physical side. It's a much more of a blending of the two together. And that's, that's something that's really, really good about this. And I'm pretty um, happy about how the way that it's, um, not too too blindsided on one side of what of what the game is trying to do. The app kind of brings out the theme, uh, plays music, also um, makes the game a little more e I guess easier to play. While the physical game, it feels still like a, uh, a game where you're trying to interact with other people. You're looking at things on the board, and it doesn't take away that. So that's a, a really good plus for Mercury Games. And for my final thoughts of Zombie Sam, I think it's a fairly good game. I think it has some really neat ideas. I do like that the app and the game, the physical game itself, kind of lends each other, kind of complements each other in there. Uh, the game, uh, as for the game, it's uh, you know speed, trying to recognize colors and stuff. So if this is your kind of game, go ahead and check out Zombie Slam. This video has been brought to you by our sponsors on Patreon. Thanks for becoming a stacker and helping us keep this channel going. Visit our Patreon page to learn how you can too become a stacker. And thank you for watching. Come follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and check out our website, thecarboardstacker.com. I'm Ferdinand the Carboard Stacker, reminding you to keep on stacking games.